A couple of years ago, I was invited to tour Japan as a soloist, advertising Yanagi Sawa saxophones. So uh, I decided I'd like to do quite a lot of it on the sopranino saxophone, and they gave me a very good instrument. But when I asked if I could buy it, they wanted me to pay more than I'd have to pay if I bought it in England. So I gave it back and completed the tour on this, which was made in 1920, and is still good. Um, the only reason I tell you this is because I wasn't quite ready to play it yet, but I am now. Um, if there are people here who like my saxophone playing so much that they wish I wouldn't speak at all, the only thing I can say is that's your hard luck. <laughs> Okay, that seems to be all right, so I'd like to start this piece. Uh, this is a tribute to um, several people I've worked with in the past who I enjoyed working with. There are a lot of people I've worked with in the past and some of them I didn't enjoy working with. Um, this is not dedicated to them at all. Um, in fact, it isn't really dedicated to the people that I did enjoy working with either. It's just that if I give you these little snippets of information about myself, it helps you to get closer to the music and go home thinking, well, I might not have liked it very much, but he didn't seem a bad sort of geezer, but a bit confused. <laughs> and then you see, someone can review the concert and say it was duff and nobody knew what was going on, and then I can write back and say, well, Go by your own advanced publicity, mate. It said I was a unique entertainer. It didn't say I was good. <laughs> I made all of that up. Having thoroughly pissed myself off, um, I'll now try to forget all of that and get on with playing. 